I'm Megan Lee with CCM Magazine here on the red carpet at the 52nd Annual Dove Awards. I have with me here Brooke Lidgertwood. Hi! Was Hi. it okay? Was that that okay? was perfect. <laughs> Flawless. I couldn't have done it better so myself. So you were telling me a little bit of uh, stuff that's coming down the pipes and I really want to touch on it because yeah. it sounds like you're venturing into new territory. You have a new album coming out as a group with Hillsong. Yes. And then you also have something surprising, a live album that's solo. So I tell know, me, tell I me know. all the things. Ah, I don't know what's happening. It's a double album, yeah. So we are really excited. Um, I mean, our church is split all around the world and Australia went into lockdown. So we actually, for the first time ever, recorded a Hillsong worship on record on American soil, wow. live in California. So that was a new thing and a whole new thing. So that comes out November 5th, which we're really excited about. And then um, just the week after that, I am doing something very scary. No and time poop, at all. She's going to do something. my pants worthy. Um, but I'm recording a live, a live worship album, which is something I didn't see coming, but um, feels like something the Lord is, is pulling, you toward. pulling me towards. So we're going to do that. And so Hillsong Worship Record and then a, a Brooke Record. So, so doing a lots live of music. solo album yeah. when you're not used to doing that. Yeah. What are some of the things that you anticipate? Or are you kind of just, like you said, going off the, cup, the seat of your pants, flying by the seat of your pants? Yeah, I mean, well, I've made six six solo albums mainstream, but yeah. this is the first and possibly last. <laughs> um, you know, worship, worship record, um, live album. These songs came together very fast. Like I said, I wasn't, I didn't mean to write an album. But that's just, it just kind of happened. It spelled out. It happened uh, with with some friends, and so here we are. So just the sound of the sound of um, worship and the sound of people singing, the sound of the church, is something that always undoes me. And so I felt like these songs needed to be heard by people, being sung by people. So we'll be live in a room worshiping Jesus, him right in the middle, him in the center of everything, and just let him do whatever he wants to do with it. So it, it came yeah. together quickly. Does that mean it just came together like in the basement in California when you guys were all hanging out it there was, or what? It was kind of an accident. Yeah, I I, um, I mean, last year I think was challenging for everybody. So for me, um, as with everybody, lots of responsibility crowded in. And I really, I only spent three days of all of 2020 writing. And I got to the end of that year and went, so I can be in Zoom meetings and that's great, but there's there's actually more that God's asked yeah. me to do. And so I took May away from from admin just to just to create and kind of that's what happened. So it's um it's been a joy also to be working on these new Hillsong worship songs and have new songs coming out for our church. That's really important. Um, and then also beautiful to be able to in tandem with that be be working on um, something that just has felt like a little secret, sacred place and then kind of almost ready to now bring it to to other people if if it would be something that serves them so it's like yeah. a little corner of your experience wrapped yeah. up in the inspiration of all the other things yeah. that you guys are releasing as well that's yeah. amazing yeah. so it's a little so. album made in may i love yeah. that the yeah. idea of that so is there anybody that you're particularly looking forward to hearing from tonight here <gasps> and perform oh my gosh yes i feel like the performances tonight the lineup tonight is oh, insane it is insane i'm ready to Find Jesus in yes. this room. I am ready to. I am excited for Maverick City Music. I am ready for them to bring fire <laughs> down. Um, Cece is performing tonight as well. And then, I don't know, I feel like every, I think Brandon Lake, our, our dear there friend is Brandon. Every, is everybody. Like, who isn't? I don't know. Apparently I'm not, I'm which not. I'm grateful <laughs> for. I'm grateful for. I just get that to enjoy, so, so that's nice. Well, yeah. you're usually performing, you're usually spilling your heart and soul and praising Jesus. So is it a different experience to just absorb it all while you're in the audience? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited just to, I mean, I'm, I always get like, a, I'm, I feel like a mum. And so I just get so proud of everybody because everybody in this room works so hard mm. and all of our expressions look so different, but everyone is doing it unto the Lord. And, um, and I think that that is so special to be able to just celebrate each other. I love that. I think that's so important. So, I love that yeah. too. I hope yeah. that you have a wonderful time experiencing all that tonight. Thank, Thank you for you. joining us here on the Red Yay, Carpet. It's my pleasure. Thanks and for having me. I hope me. that we, I can't wait to hear the live album. I hope that it goes fantastic. Thank and we'll you. be seeing you out there in the big show. Yay.